4.1 says that three numbers are in arithmetic progression and their sum is 21. Now we can say that the uh, first number is A and the second number is A plus D and the third number is A plus 2D. If sum of these three is equal to 21 then we have 3A plus 3D is equals to 21 or we can say that a plus d is equals to 7 or a is equals to 7 minus d if further says that if 1 5 15 are added to them respectively the first term is a if i add 1 it becomes a plus 1 the second term is a plus d if i add 5 it becomes a plus d plus 5 the third term is a plus 2d if i add 15 it becomes a plus 2d plus 15 they form ap now these three terms are in ap the numbers are and it wants to find out us out the numbers for an arithmetic progression we know that the second term divided by first term is equals to third term divided by second term we also know from this calculation that a is equals to 7 minus d so we will have we will we can replace this the first a with 7 minus d so it will be 7 minus d plus d plus 5 divided by 7 minus d plus 1 is equals to 7 minus d plus 2d plus 15 divided by 7 minus d plus d plus 5 if we solve it 7 and 5 is equals to 12 minus d plus d cancels out divided by 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 minus d is equals to 7 and 15 are 22 plus d divided by 12. If we solve it further, let us solve this over here. 12 and 12 can cross multiply each other, it will become 144 is equals to 22 plus d multiplied by 8 minus d it will be 144 is equals to 22 into 8 is 176 22 into minus d is minus 22 d plus 8 d minus d square now 144 minus 176 is minus 32 is equals to minus 32 is equals to minus 22d and plus 8d is minus 14d minus d square it will be d square plus uh, d square plus 16 sorry 14d minus 32 is equals to 0 now we can either use the quadratic formula or solve it directly by taking by breaking the mid term d square plus 16 d minus 2 d is equals to minus 32 taking the common d plus 16 minus 2 d plus 16 is equals to 0 d minus 2 and d plus 16 is equals to 0 so we will have d minus 2 is equals to 0 d is equals to 2 or d plus 16 is equals to 0 and d is equals to minus 16 we will have two possible answers which is d is equals to 2 and d is equals to minus 16 now if we come back to the start of the question we know that a is equals to 7 minus d and if a is equals to 7 minus d if a is equals to 7 minus d and if d is equals to 2 
a will be 7 minus 2 which is 5 or if a is equals to 7 minus d and d is equals to minus 16 a will be 7 minus minus 16 and this will be 7 minus minus 16 is 23 the question asks us to find the three terms this is our original question and as per our cal calculations the first term can either be 5 or it can be 23 as well but if you see the possible answers of 4.1 we only have a with the first term of 5 so our answer should be a but let us also compute the other two values of 7 and 9 if we say that a is 5 we are saying that d will be 2 and therefore our first term if it was a it is 5 a plus d is 5 plus 2 which is 7 a plus 2d is 5 plus 2 into 2 which is 9 so we have 5 7 and 9 which is 4.21a moving on to 4.22 the sum of three numbers in geometric progression is 70 there are three numbers which sum up to 70 if the two extremes by multiplied each by if the two extremes are there should be r if the two extremes are multiplied each by 4 and the geometric mean by 5 the products are in ap the numbers are now this is a very tricky and special sort of question let me clear up some space to solve this you can always rewind the video and check the solution of previous question however since we are not left with the space i am clearing the space to solve 4.22 and for 4.22 you must have studied a bit of stats from AFC syllabus and know what is geometric progression is sorry uh, geometric mean is because this question actually uses geometric means concept so let us solve it and if you do not know geometric mean don't worry once you study stats portion you will get to know about it the question says that the sum of three numbers in GP is 70. Let's say that our first number in GP is A, the second will be AR and the third will be AR square. This is our geometric progression. Sum of all three terms is 70. Therefore, we know that A plus a r plus a r square is equals to 70 after this it says that if the two extremes two extremes means this and this if the two extremes are multiplied each by 4 and the geometric mean by 5 now the question is a bit of bit big it must also state the sequence of arithmetic progression but let us say that if the first extreme is the first extreme of arithmetic progression and the second extreme is the second extreme of arithmetic progression if the first and the last terms are multiplied for 4 and the geometric mean by 5 now the geometric mean for 3 numbers is uh, basically geometric mean is under root n n is the number of terms and we multiply all the terms a into a r into a r square so to calculate geometric mean of three numbers you multiply all three numbers and have a power of n which is the number of terms and in this case it will be three so the geometric mean will be cube root of a cube r cube or a r cube in a cube root which will be AR so it wants to say if the first and the last terms are multiplied by 4 and the geometric mean is multiplied by 5 which will be 5 AR
the products are in ap now these three terms 4a 5ar and 4ar square are in arithmetic progression the numbers are what these actual numbers are these numbers now uh, since 4a 5ar and 4ar square are in arithmetic progression second term minus first term is equals to third term minus second term furthermore if we solve this and simplify this equation it will be if i divide all the terms by a it will be 5r minus 4 is equals to 4r square minus 5r and it will become 4r square minus 10r plus 4 is equals to 0 now I, I am skipping a step to solve it through breaking the midterm or using the quadratic formula minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a however if you solve this question with the knowledge of chapter number 3 you will come to know that r is 2 and r is 0 0.5 now if r is 2 and we know that a plus a r plus a r square is equals to 70 if r is 2 it will become a 2a and 4a is equals to 70 and a will be a will be this will be 7 a is equals to 70 and a will be 10 the first possibility when r is equals to 2 a will be 10 and the terms will actually become the all all these terms will become a is equals to 10 ar will be 10 into 2 which is 20 and ar square which will be 10 into 2 into 2 which is 40 however if you notice the answers of 4.22 you do not get an answer of 10 comma 20 comma 40 although this is a possibility too but since we do not have such an answer we will have to check the same with r is equals to 0 0.5 so let us solve this with r is equals to 0 0.5 now If r is 0 0.5, we know that a plus a r plus a r square is equals to 70, which will become a plus 0 0.5 a plus 0 0.5 square a is equals to 70. And if we calculate a, it will be uh, 0 0.5 square is 0.25 plus 0.5 plus 1 which makes it 1.75 70 divided by 1.75 is 40 so a will be 40 and if a is 40 and within r of uh, r of 0 0.5 we can calculate the three terms which will be our a will be our a will be 40 a r will be 40 into 0 0.5 which is 20 a r square will be 40 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 which will be 10 so three or more possibilities is 40 20 and 10 so our answer for 4.22 should be c